Well, Downing Street is blocking some of the UK's top military and spy chiefs from giving interviews. And that is causing anger in the civil service. British media says that although the precise reason is not clear, one source suggested that it was because of a general paranoia over government messaging before next year's election. Now, number 10 has ho told several press officers that there is a minister's only rule in place. It prevents unelected senior leaders from giving interviews or in some cases from making any public statements at all. Civil servants are furious as they believe there is an important value in having top military and security experts offer their perspectives on critical conflicts. They say that the control exercised by Number 10 was worse under Rishi Sunak than under previous Prime Ministers. Sunak is said to have been annoyed with one of the Defence Chief's interviews. Last year, the Chief of Defence Staff, Admiral Sir Tony Radkin, had said that the military is busy and should not be treated as spare capacity. This as the ministers were preparing to deploy 1,200 troops to cover striking public sector staff. Further, Chief of the General Staff, General Sir Patrick Sanders is also believed to have angered number 10 by criticizing the government over troop numbers. As a result, both Ratkin and Sanders were prevented on several occasions from speaking to the media. According to some sources, some spy agencies have also been blocked from issuing statements about specific events. One department dealing with security issues was told it could only issue reactive statements rather than anything proactive in case it distracted from the number 10 agenda. The government, however, says that the allegation that number 10 had stopped senior figures from speaking is not true. It added that high-profile public figures, including defense and diplomatic staff, have spoken to media in recent months.